Hi, it's me Ellen again today with a little Gutenberg tutorial. I just quickly want to show you the concept of reusable blocks in Gutenberg, the new WordPress editor and I think it's a pretty cool feature and I hope um, that it will be developed even further until the official release of, WordPress, uh, of Gutenberg in WordPress uh, 5.0. So I just quickly show you what you can do uh, with the concept now and I even heard that um, now they call it reusable blocks but they even be called safe blocks or uh, templates so it's not sure yet but I think they will develop the concept further and um, so let's just dive right into it and I show you what you can do with them right now. So I'm now in my post that I created with Gutenberg already and um, to show you the concept of reusable posts I will add another just default a block, um, let's say an image block. I choose an image from my image library and then maybe I want to add a caption and um, now if I go to this little more options uh, tab here with the three dots I see as a um, option here convert to reusable block and that's what I'm going to do and uh, now I haven't figured out yet maybe um, that's still a little bug how I can um, choose a name for my reusable block right away at the moment I um, only have the option to um, edit the name the untitled block name so I want to call this um, my image block and I save my name and now um, that's the cool thing about the reusable blocks um, that I can use this saved block anywhere on any page or um, post that um, that is in my WordPress installation so if I just go here to another area and I um, choose add block and now I go to this uh, tab of save blocks I see my image block that I just created and I can just include it and that's um, for any poster page so that's pretty cool um, I think maybe in the future I have like a tons of idea that would be helpful like maybe you can um, group some blocks and create save templates that you can reuse that would be very neat or um, another option maybe to use this is um, I'm showing this now for instance now um, you can either choose to show the author information on the bottom of your post or not but um, oh, I will delete that one I remove that one um, but maybe you just want to show the author info on some of your posts then you could create a blog for author info of one of your posts like for me and I could just add this little information at the bottom of some posts maybe just the longer ones and um, I can just reuse this snippet whenever I want to and yeah as I said like um, I would think it's super interesting to have a group of posts that I can save or entire page templates and so on and um, there's just a lot of options I think that will develop and be um, be developed and included further on and um, yeah just let me uh, know what you think about the reusable blocks also the name is still I think in discussion maybe it will be changed to saved blocks um, we don't know yet I will keep you updated in these video tutorials um, about Gutenberg um, for sure so just let me know if you have any questions or feedback or do you uh, if you know any further tricks or things you can do with Gutenberg right now or anything you would like to see just let me know I love to hear from you thanks so much for watching bye